How to beat the Williams brothers, a legion of LA. They dominate all of the USA crits, all the Californian kits, crits, and they are unbelievable. As you saw before, the numbers they put out are absolutely mad. So this is the latest video they posted, the 29 California state championships. Definitely check them out. They are unbelievable. They're crazy. So um, basically what they do is they're the strongest sprinters in 99% of the fields that they race in. So they park their huge train on the front with about five kilometers to go and just dominate it. So obviously like, you know, they're incredibly strong riders, their FTP is high, you know, they're aerobically fit. They're not just these, you know, big lads who can just sprint. So to beat them is a lot harder than you think. So anyway, in this race, you can see people are really ag aggressive. They want to win the state championships. And I think this is the number one thing. You've got to tire them out. You've got to make sure that, you know, they are weakened when it comes to the final leader so that attacks will get away. There's Robin Carpenter, race, uh, races for the Pro Continental Rally UHC, super strong guy. He's on his own. If he had this whole team, maybe they could do something. But the problem is, I guess, is that they are the strongest team. And teams have to, like, you know, go together. They both have to attack and not chase. If they're missing the move, lean on Legion of LA a lot more. Seems like often in this race, Jasper Verkul also did a video on this. He was racing in this. And um, you'll see a lot of teams chasing them when the Legion are away. But, like, sorry, when Legion aren't in the break. But the other thing with Legion is they get in most breaks because they have so many strong guys. They have... Well, the, the two main sprinters are Corey and Corey Williams and Justin Williams. But they have another Williams brother and some other boys who are very, very strong. Like this guy on the back is often their sweeper. And um, that's to stop you getting a good draft. But if you're leaving it to the sprint, you're not going to win. You need to isolate them early. And, you know, because they seem to have a pretty simple tactic in terms of like they, when they lead out, they just go on the front and just drive it. So if you manage to weaken them and you think that your second man or third man is stronger than theirs, then you can come from behind and attack. If you watch a lot of World Tour sprints, they started off like this, you know, HTC High Road, Cavendish, you know, they just drilled it and they were the strongest team. But now if you look at Quick Step, who I think are the best at lead outs, they don't always have the best sprinter, but in terms of lead outs, I think they're the best. And you'll see with one kilometer to go, they come up late and they're fresher and they can go faster in that last kilometer with the third and second lead out, or the, the second and last lead out man. Like Morkov and Riquez, it normally is. Or Sabatini, it depends, you know, obviously who they've got. But in this, I think it's also the same. If we look at this situation here, no one's competing. Everyone's just behind them, which is fair enough. But you're not going to beat them in a sprint. Like, you, you're just not. They're stronger than you. So you have to come up with inventive ways. Like, now, it's too late because they're not tired. They've got enough men to, you know, s to hold it off. So people need to, you know, start attacking earlier, really tire them out, really go for aggressive. We look, watch Robin Carpenter, he's on his own. You know, he's obviously realizes he's not gonna beat them in a sprint. You know, he'll come close, cause you know, like he, he has got a decent sprint. But if you look at this corner now, I mean, I think I'm pretty sure this is coming up to the last lap. They've got three guys to, three guys in front of their sprinter. Um, and you know, you, you're just not gonna happen because even if you attack now, they've got such strength and such power that you're not going to get them back. So you have to go early. You have to make the race as hard as possible. You have to try and make sure as many of their guys get dropped as possible so that then in this last kilometer, they are tired and that another team now could go on the other side of the road and dominate it. But this moment in time, you know, they're, they're not fresh, but, you know, they're not super tired. Obviously, the race was hard. But then when, when Justin starts leading out, I mean, no one's coming around this. You're not going to get another guy because he's a world-class sprinter in his own right. So... I mean, this is the this is the issue. He he's literally like Corey is getting let out by Justin, and then here we go. Cheers, thanks for coming, and that's it. Obviously, Robin Carpenter's on the wheel gets a perfect draft, but even in his wheel, he doesn't even come past him. Like, you know, he's he's putting bike lengths and bike lengths into him, and everyone else is just fighting for the minor places. So, you know, on this course, it's it's easier because it's more technical. Like this course was relatively technical. It's still four corner crit. None of these American crits I've seen have looked overly technical. Um, but this is then the Boise criterion. I mean, this is like the most classic American crit I've ever seen. Sorry for insulting all you American viewers, but like, seriously, a lot of your crits are very boring. Full corner crit, nothing going on. So again, this one, you think, you know, you see Cliff Bar. Cliff Bar line up for a sprint. I'm sorry, Cliff Bar, what are you doing? You're not going to beat them in a sprint. You need to come up with other ideas in order to beat them. And this, 
is harder to, it's easier to control because the speed is going to be, you know, 45 to 50 k's an hour, maximum 60 at any point. It's not going to be, you know, you're slowing down to 25, 30 k an hour, like in, you know, a technical crit. So that means that it's hard to break away and it's easy to control because you can just ride it like 400 watts on the front, 350 watts on the front and just keep it at like that 45, 50k an hour. So here you see um, Cliff Bar on the front on the left. Like what are you doing? You're trying to lead out against the Legion of LA. They're going to beat you. You can't do this. You need to save your energy as much as possible and you need to just sponge off them as much and maybe send in some attacks to really test them. But again, if you're, if you're just hanging back, I've also watched um, NorCal Cycling video on this, and you'll see Avolo, another UCI team. Legion LA aren't even a continental team, but they just have such strong guys. Um, that's, they're a really good setup. But again, like now you're in this situation, um, you'll see the way they swing off. They know how to block the inside of the corner so people aren't passing through corners. I mean, they're a well-drilled outfit. They know exactly what to do. They know that if they repeat these things, they're going to win. But no one ever seems to just think about it and, and realize that actually... If we attacked now as hard as possible and we had five guys left, you know, you might be able to do something. If you have more numbers in the final than they do, which again comes back to attacking them earlier, so they have less numbers, um, then, you know, you're going to do well. I mean, Avol or UCI team, you can expect them to be stronger than Legion of LA um, or at least have the tactical nows to think about how they're going to win. Also, what triggers me is how many people don't have aerosocks in America. Like, literally, just buy some. You're going to go faster. Um, no pins have grey aerosocks. 10 out of 10 would buy them. Um, or overshoes. Legion of LA do have them, but no one else does, and you're just stupid. So apart from that rant, please get some Aero socks, otherwise I get very triggered when I watch these races. Um, but there he is, big Justin in his USA champs. He knows what's happening. Everyone knows what's happening. <laughs> Legion of LA are going to win. Um, sometimes I think these crits are getting a bit boring because you just know what's going to happen. Here we go, launches it, and no one's coming past. I mean, it's like... It's like it's a one-team race. I mean, you can see from behind, it's chaos behind. But again, you're leaving it too late. If you're trying to move up now, it's not going to happen um, unless you're super strong and have more numbers. But no one ever has more numbers than Legion in the final. Maybe it is just strength. Maybe no one does have the strength. This guy tries to shut, the, close the door. Um, sorry, Justin tries to close the door. Doesn't succeed. Around this corner, they do close the door. No one gets past. Oh, no, he does get past. Sorry. He's in second wheel, BMC boy. Um, but, you know, even this at this point, he's done well. He's managed to get into the Legion LA train, but does is he going to have the strength to do Justin? No, he won't. Um, you can see here he took a wider corner. Um, he's now boxed in between, behind Corey. Corey's not going to do a full lead out here. He's going to on purpose box him in. So you look boxed in. Cheerio, thanks for coming. And um, Justin takes the win. Pretty light. I mean, just watch all of their videos and you'll see it's the same tactic every single time. Obviously, they are incredibly strong, but I think people can't just expect it do the same thing over and over again and expect different results. You've got to change it up. So anyway, cheers for watching. What are your thoughts on Legion of LA? How would you beat them? Um, and will they actually go well to There's a lot of rumours. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.